J Engineering in Market Harbour had a sliding head machine on their wish list for years. Now it's in, let's find out just how easy it is to integrate this technology into an already successful subcontract machine shop. Home we were making on our fixed head machines. A couple of examples. Um, one was taking four minutes on the fixed head, and we're at one minute five seconds on here. Amazing. Uh, another component with two minutes, and we were also subcontacted out for grinding just to hold a five micron tolerance. The fixed heads could hold that, but it was a lot of um, you know intervention on a high volume. This we we ran. Uh, over 2,000 parts and it held the tolerance for us and, and we're doing it in 54 seconds. Congratulations David, finally you've got your star sliding head machine that you wanted at MJ Engineering. So before we get into the interview into why you invested in it, Tell me more about your business and the arena that you're working in. Okay, we do uh, a lot of Formula One, oil and gas, um, high-end automotive, uh, optical, medical, construction, anything in between. Yes, a nice array yeah. of industry. And what was the tipping point for you? What machines have you got and the equipment? And why have you gone, right, we need this? Yeah, so we've got a lot of fixed head turning, uh, fantastic machines, and um, all the trim tooling. We wanted a star really for um, the higher volumes and um, that's what I thought a sliding head was for when we, when we bought it, when we wanted it. So, so it's been quite a learning curve. For Absolutely, because now I've got it, we don't just do high quantities on it. We've found that we can just do small runs and complex components. So we're still learning, but it's certainly an eye opener, yeah. I love your thirst and a willingness to want to learn. So tell me more about the components and why did you go for this particular model then? Okay, so the components, um, let's sort of home in on three components that Star actually did a turnkey package for us. Um, so the machine landed, we had uh, three days training and we were able to get up and running and make those three parts. So brilliant, and that's all we needed. That, as I said earlier, the training is now available when we move on to different components. Now the components, we these three components, we didn't need this machine, it's fantastic. This is literally the Rolls Royce that does everything. And uh, the components we're making right now are very simple components, but being subcontractors, we never know what the next job will be. For buying one, we might as well buy the best. So you've gone for a higher spec machine to future-proof yourself, essentially. Yeah. So how that opened up more work for you? Yeah, um, obviously we never know what the next job will be. Um, there was recently a job we were quoting that we declined because we couldn't do what we wanted on our fixed heads. Now I've got this up and running, I'm excited because I can go back to that customer and say, can we have a go at it now? Because I know we can do it on here. Everything we've ever done is done through fixed head turning. And now we're looking at jobs that traditionally would have milled or done on the fixed head with trim tooling and we're thinking well we could do it on the star now especially this model um, with a B axis we can do complex milling components almost fully milled components um, that would traditionally be just done on the milling machine so and in terms of quantities what are you putting through the machine yeah quantities um, I think that's the lesson I've learned so I always had in my head that a star or a, a sliding head machine was high volume um, We've sort of changed our view on that. The, um, the other day we made a 64 off on here and it was a similar program to something else we were making. We just ran it and the changeovers were very easy and we're getting better at it. Um, you know, we're down to sort of 40 minutes and yeah, we, we'll probably get a bit quicker anyway on that. Not being too cheeky, but what are your expectations from this machine for your business? Um, I think it's already proven itself. The expectations have been answered. When we first had it installed, um, we ran it for a week. The, the, one of the guys that was trained up to run it went on holiday, so we just left it running and we made over 2,000 parts and they're all correct, you know. Um, we just thought, we've got nothing to lose. We'll leave it running, see what happens. And it, it was fantastic. 
really it's sorry. personal to you, isn't it? Yeah. A machine like this. Why is that? Why is this so important for you and your business personally to your company? Yeah, I think <laughs> just uh, it's like a breath of fresh air. Working with Star, the support been brilliant and seeing the results so quickly already. Um, obviously, it's a lot of money. Uh, as all machinery is, but the payback on this I can really see uh, quickly. And um, they, you know, we joke about it, but they might be in for another one quite soon because it's so good.